and welcome to the Stadium of Stupid. I am six birds in a trench coat, and today's event is Will It Flow? Do look at all the excited people. Now, while we wait for the stragglers to take their seats, let's have a look at the contestants. Round one, the Battle of the Balls. Round two, Featuring frozen food. Round three. A chew toy. Some kind of gym object. And a very real bird. Last round. Two tires. A snowman. A musical instrument. And a large wooden torture device. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to play Will It Flow? Three, two, one. Ooh, it looks yeah. like all items in Ron Bell chose to float. And now for round two, which of these objects do you believe will flow? that the zebra is actually standing on top of the water on its legs. What a balance! And the contestants are now ready for the third round. Go! We have two losers this round, the waterlogged melon and the chew toy. Guess that one's all chewed up. <laughs> Last, but certainly not least, the round we have all been looking for, word two, round four. <laughs> oh, and only the musical instrument failed to float. Let's see if the snowman does the same thing that the zebra did, which made no sense. And now, in my own voice, because I don't want to lose said voice, let's congratulate the floaters. Please stop. Which is the vast majority of the enrichment items that are not tied down. I only picked the ones on the little uh, ugly uh, steel plates. I did forget three things. Let's grab them. We can add the snowball to the floaters. And these two losers to the pile of junk. There's one thing I want to see, though. If you place the sinkers at the top, will, will they sink? Well, that was anticlimactic. Then why are these objects put in these piles over here? Well, these three... Uh, no, maybe not the trees. These three, now placed far enough apart that they should not interfere with each other, these are the ones with the stupidest physics. Okay, that thing actually bumped into the snowman, which did not affect the snowman at all, but the much larger object was not completely off course, which did make its floating position slightly better. What is that? And then there are the things that should not float. This is literally a dumbbell. This is a thing that you lift at the gym Specifically because it is heavy. Yeah, so in conclusion, what floats and what does not cannot be guessed based on real life anything. The physics of these objects work quite well when you use the objects the way you're supposed to. Stick them in a habitat and let the animals play with them. However, they don't work as well when you um, place them at the bottom of a giant tank of water. For no good reason. Bye!